Hi, uh, this is Japanese Craft Beer Reviews, and today we have a kind of special limited beer that we're going to look at from one of the better breweries, in, in fact, one of the very best breweries in Japan for uh, beer, uh, craft beer, and that is uh, uh, Shiga Kogen beer. Uh, and Shiga Kogen beer is uh, part of the Tamamura Honten Company, uh, which is a, a sake producer in Nagano Prefecture. Uh, and they've been around for a long time, in fact, since 1805. Um, and the beer, beer spin-off uh, was started uh, and a man named uh, Sato Ego joined them in uh, 2003 and then in 2004 he became the uh, head brewer and director of the uh, beer division. And for me, the, I'm not a sake drinker, so for me the beer division is the main one, although I think they consider themselves primarily a sake brewer. Um, they're uh, well known for using, uh, growing uh, a lot of their own ingredients. And in fact, I think they said they grow up to 20% of the hops that they use in their beer. Uh, and uh, in their Yamabushi series of uh, very special beers, they use 100% of their own grown uh, beers. Uh, Shiga Kogan has uh, uh, sponsored a beer festival every year called Snow Monkey Beer Live, and the snow monkey refers to the uh, Japanese monkeys that uh, uh, live in that area, and you may have seen pictures of them sitting in hot spring pools. Um, and it's a beer and music festival. Uh, it's one of the best in Japan, but uh, they haven't had it for uh, a year or so because of the COVID pandemic. And they have a, a tap room called the Teppa Room next to, right next to, uh, as part of the brewery. And they have a restaurant bar called the Farmhouse uh, nearby. And there's also a sake brewery museum, which you can check out as well and buy their beers there as well. Um, so they are regarded generally as one of the finest craft beer brewers in Japan, definitely. And the beer we're going to look at today is this one. It is a very limited beer. It's called Shiga Kogen uh, Tamamura Honten. You see the Tamamura Honten line here. Uh, and Trunk Coffee, Imperial Coffee Porter. And this is a release from this year, 2021. It's an 8% uh, uh, Imperial Porter at 72 international bittering units. And Trunk Coffee Roasters, uh, is a, uh, they've worked with them before, definitely, and made a, a number of coffee beers. In fact, they've made this same beer with them before. Um, this uh, this is the fact that I think the third time they've worked with Trunk to make a beer like this. And the beer they use is called Shakiso Natural from Ethiopia. Um, Rate Beer does not have this beer listed and uh, untapped. Uh, when I checked, there were 166 ratings at 4.09. Very, very high. Um, and for this here, the coffee beans were dried with the outer flesh still on and used that way. So uh, it should be kind of a different sort of taste. Uh, uh, Imperial Coffee Porter, 8%. I would like to see this. I'd li I'd like to, one thing I'd like them to do with this, something like this, is barrel it and uh, you know let it age in a barrel for a while and see what it comes out to. Okay. So, here we have, it is absolutely pitch black, uh, can't see anything at all through, with a very thin, filmy, uh, dark tan head. Okay, the nose is coffee big time, <clears throat> lightly scorched. Something else behind it, like maybe marshmallow. The roastiness of the the uh, the malt here is definitely complementing the coffee. Wow, uh, 
medium to full body. Uh, the coffee seems to be a, uh, the roasting and the roasting has seemed to be just right. So I'm wondering if they actually did roast this or not. Uh, the beans were dried with the outer flesh still on. Did they roast it then? If not, this is simply roast malt, which is very chocolatey. Smooth. Some kind of uh, rich dark fruit in the background and very warming. Seventy-two bittering units. Ah, you can you can certainly get that. You get the bitterness on the tongue, and it's hanging on for a long time. It doesn't seem quite that high. Seventy-two international bittering units, but it's definitely up there. And uh, wow, this is a, a pleasant, a pleasant little tipple. Mmm. Oh my! Oh my! Could be a breakfast drink, I don't know. <laughs> Could be a dangerous one. Mm. Very tasty indeed. Uh, they got a good balance here. Sometimes coffee coffee beers uh, come off as too scorched. Uh, or the, the coffee was steeped too long in the, uh, in the, uh, in the wart or or boiled too long or something, you know. It, it, it's kind of a delicate thing to get it just right, and I think they've done it here. Really, just a touch more, and it would be too, too harshly bitter or scratchy bitterness from scorching. But this is not at all. This is really nice, nice, nice beer. Uh, once again, it's called Shiga Kogan. Uh, Trunk Coffee, uh, Tamamoto Honten, Imperial Coffee Porter, 8%, 72 international bittering units. And uh, uh, I found this on a website and uh, ordered it. Uh, it's not available on the uh, Shiga Kogen website, unfortunately. Uh, if you have a chance to see this, uh, please go ahead and, uh, and try it out and let me know what you think. Uh, and tell me your opinion about Shiga Kogen, if you uh, have had them before. Uh, I think they're one of the finest breweries in the country. And uh, I wish their beers were more widely available. So these days we don't have beer festivals. Uh, and that's often where I've got to try out new beers from Shiga Kogen. But uh, anyway, we can hope that those things will be coming back soon. Okay, well that's it for today. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, stay healthy, stay well. Bye-bye.